Hello everybody, my name is Sulit and welcome to the Power Grid. This game is called Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. It's about a brave soul who gets his heart stolen by a dragon and he goes on this merry quest with three other pals to go get it. It's got a really good combat system. It's an open world RPG and there's this system where it's a multiplayer game but it's not and I will go into that later on when we get to it. So without further ado, let's get into the game. In another place, in another life, another child of man blazes your path. We are to pursue a dragon right away. The dragon's roost is just beyond. Oh! Nice. Okay, so this is what we call a rift stone, and a rift stone is a magical object that summons helpers for you. And these are the default pawns that we get in the beginning here. Morgani and Kinsei. I'm a physical type class. And these games are uh, pawns are independent of themselves, so if they find something new. Oh, I thought he was about to fall down. If they find something to use that could be useful, like maybe health or, you know, stamina, anything that's of use to them, they will pick it up and they will use it of their own volition. So that's really cool. They're really independent. They have their own personality types. So depending on what their personality is, then uh, they will either give it to you or they will use it themselves. Ooh. Well, that is really scary. And it's great because the pawns can do that thing where they actually take hold of the minions and any enemies and you could pretty much just charge at them all willy-nilly I just picked up Morgana she's like let me down but I'm like no no I can even throw her <laughs> I'm not sure what that does to my infinity toward her probably nothing Probably something. I like how you can just pick up anything in this game. And you just throw it. End it. Woo. Come at me, bro. No, I'll provoke it. That is so cool that you can provoke things. Come over here. Oh. Okay. Survivors. Let's join them. Come here. It's too high. Here we go. It's dead. Let's go. Oh, that is nasty, but so cool. Let's do it. So in this game, you can mount things, as you can see. I mounted the snake part of the chimera. And this is the part of the chimera, or the monster that deals out poison. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut off the snake. You kill goat. 
this creature can no longer use magic. The lion is obviously the physical part. There we go, I've just killed the goat. Woo! Woo! Ah! Alright, we're on his face. Oh, oh no! Took us down. I'm gonna just hit it with my shield repeatedly. Oh, look at Saul to go! Oh, and we finally defeated the Chimera. Now choose, flee, or step forth. Take hold of what lies beyond. Claim mastery over the eternal ring. And countless lifetimes come to pass. Le plaisir de les riches est toujours nouvelle d'une occupation inutile. Henry de Regnier, the delightful and ever novel pleasure of a useful occupation. Useless occupation. Whoa. Look at that thing, it's awesome. Oh, and it's oh, and there goes another one. I'm surprised those harpies aren't going after it. The capital is the best place to... Okay. Alright, here we are. Character creation screen. Let's create a character. So, we've got the choices of gender, uh, name, build, and voice. So, let's take a look at all the customization options included with this game. Okay, here we are. So, in the uh, advanced edit, edit details, you can edit the head, body, or the features. And here are all the options right here. Preset faces, hairstyles, all the way up to ears. And here we go. Stature to stance. Scars to color adjustment. So, I'm going to go ahead and just make my character and I'll show you the end result. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I did not like the voice, so I changed it to type 1. Steal yourself for combat. Now it matches his body and his face, so let's get into it. His clothes are a little too small on him me thinks hear ye hear ye the prophets have spoken friends the dragon's return is nigh join the honorable duke's ranks and help us be rid of the fell beast the days come to lay down rod and reel and take up the sword Oh, hi. Uh. 
Hades is the dragon! Oh no! Oh, here it comes. Ooh, watch out. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Was that us who just got flung? Ooh. Oh, somebody just died. Okay, we're alive. How am I supposed to kill this thing? I'm not even damaging it. Oh, hey. I hit it. I got some blood out. Cool. So it bleeds. Barely, but it's like made of stone. Oh no. That's right. I stabbed it. Sword pierced through his dragon scales. Oh, that's not good. Get up, dude. Get up, dude. Thomas, no! Miss Queer, I told Tara, what a I don't speak dragon. He just ate our heart, and somehow we're still alive. Oh, that was awesome. He ruined my perfect body. Now I've got this huge scar going down my chest. Damn! Wants us to go after him. Wants us to get strong enough to be able to defeat him. The question is why? Why is he doing this? Okay. 
here we are, we're in the game. Quest successful, Harbinger of Destruction. And I need to take a weapon. Your vocation determines your basic attributes, wieldable equipment, and skills. Okay. Alright, so we have three different classes to choose from, like I said earlier. We have a fighter, a strider, and a mage. And I'm going to be a fighter. And there's no doubt about that. We're going to go with fighter. So here are the skills that the fighter currently has. Blink strike and shield summons. We don't have any augments. The primary weapon is a sword and a secondary weapon is a shield. And of course you got the strider and mage. Strider is pretty much a rogue type with a bow and arrow and daggers. And a mage has a staff or a stave. And they can use magic, so... We're going to go with fighter. Exit the room. Before we exit the room, we're going to trash this room. Observe. Oh, that ain't... That wasn't as dramatic as I thought it would be. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's better. Look at this. Every time you uh, destroy something, there's a chance that something might come out of it. So I'm destroying everything. You say it left a glowing scar? Yes. The wound has closed. And it seems the worst has passed, but... His heart lies silent. If you would face me... You are sure of this? Yes. Ill magic. The work of some curse. The whole world's already gone mad for fear of this dragon. Won't no good come of this. Yeah, you said it. Go see to the others, Kina. Tell me if aught changes here. All right. Whoa, why does he look so scary? You should be abed. I wish you would not strain yourself so. I am worried for you, cuz. Don't worry, Kina, I'm okay. I'm gonna destroy everything in your house, though. I'm sorry, but items. Can't let these good items go to waste. Did I just say leet? Eh. Okay, we've looted everything from that house. Now we're out and... The place is called Casardis. Casardis. Oh! I fell off a cliff. Alright, so I fell in the water and now I'm soaking wet. And I'm just going around the beach destroying things looking for loot. Here's something. Oh, it gave me one thing. Okay, so here we are. We look like uh, we found a quest. I'd craft dressings for the wounded had I the makings. If only I'd known. Cuz I need a favor. Can you fetch the flowers I need from outside the village? Oh. A cutscene, what's this now? Oh, this must be my first companion. Yes. Ooh, it looks like something that uh, is on my chest. Could there be a connection? That man you are speaking with, he's of the Pawn Legion. Oh, is he now? They come from some unknown place, just appear without a warning. They are a strange lot. Not human, quite. They look the part, sure enough, but they lack the will, the spark what drives us. So you mean they lack a soul? 
They have no capacity to feel nor act alone, so they live as cell sorts. Myrmidons, they're called. Hmm. There's an encampment west of the village where men gather to face the dragon. I'd wager a fair number of his kind will be there as well. Why don't you take him? Might be you learn out of why he came to you in the first place. Okay, sounds good. Hello, Rook. Purchasing equipment here in Cassidus will make for a safer trip to the encampment. Yes. So he wants us to purchase things. We need to go find a shop. Hello, I found a shop. It's a mercy, I, only I decided to save my money. Let's go. The encampment. This path should see us there. Okay, Rook, lead the way. Or not. Oh, damn. Dude has no protection. Red Oh, that was awesome. Oh, God, I can't see. So it's nice, if you have a mage in your party, they can imbue your weapon with some kind of element. In this case, it looks like Rook has some kind of fire element. So he imbued our weapons with the fire magic. Okay, so that was Reynard, and he's a traveling salesman. And in return for saving his life, he gave us a cape that we're going to wear. Oh, don't I look neat? I look cool. I like that. Okay, here we are. Well met, sir. Can you hear our voice? We speak to you from across great distance. The Horn Legion has awaited you. Why? Pray, forgive this strange and impersonal greeting. This rift serves as a gate. It connects our kind to your world. It opens to the Arisen. For they possess a will powerful enough to guide the Legion. So we're their leaders, I guess. If you would claim to be among the Arisen, prove the strength of your resolve. And it looks like there's more than one Arisen. I'm not that special. Well, thank you. Very well. Then we shall guide you in your trial. If you are an Arisen in truth, this humble task will prove no obstacle. The Arisen must possess the valor to stand against all threats and the power to quell them. A tireless spirit of self-improvement grants the strength to lead the Legion. Craig, show it now. Holy crap. Oh my god. It's the Cyclops. A goblin cyclops? It looks like a giant goblin with one eye. Oh, here we go. Woo Taste my steel. Ugh. Oh, I have no skills. Oh, look at that. We blocked a little. That was cool. Dude, oh my god, I'm on fire. I I can't attack. He's moving too much. What's that guy doing over there? What the hell? Hey, help us. Why aren't you helping us? Yes, let's get the eye. Get up there, Thomas. Yes. Almost dead. Almost dead. <laughs> Come on, die! Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Has he got like four toes or five? Hello, who are you? Pawn customization. Set the look of your constant companion throughout your journey as arisen. Your main pawn. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is what I was talking about. This is where you get to create your 
constant companion who will then be able to be shared amongst other people who have this game if they have the online mode turned on and as they get shared they gain knowledge and skills and you gain money for the amount of people using your pawn etc 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 it's so cool so this is gonna take a while so i'll be right back oh this is exciting nice Our fealty is sworn to you, Arisen. From this day, the Legion's men call pawns live and die by your command. She's buffer than Rook. <laughs> oh, they're bowing down to me. Okay, so now we're in the rift. You get in here by touching the rift stone and what we're going to do here is we're going to find another pawn so as soon as i find one we'll go ahead and continue on with our mission oh here's one right now actually yes arisen okay so now we have a party of four we have two warriors one mage and one strider i think this is a pretty balanced party Oh, you again. Looks like he's missing an eye or something. The men of the enlistment corps never turn away the eager. We are ready to begin. Are you? Okay, let's go train. Let me All right, here we go. So intense. Okay, so our objective is to take those things and, uh. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Take those things and put them in the finish line. Ugh. Wow, Erica's fast. She's already all the way over there. Rook is last. Okay, so now we're destroying the scarecrows. So just physical attacks will do. Okay, so now we have two different crows. The blue ones will only fall to magic, and the red ones are the ones that need brute force, aka things that I can do. Oh, look at that. Erica just leveled up. Nice. So if you're going to do this training, make sure that uh, you have a mage in your party. We have tried strength in numbers, Elizabeth. You've completed your training. See now the difference well-selected partners can make. Yes, no doubt, no doubt. You'll learn the rest from actual combat. If you have trouble, examine your party. Okay, and that's all the time we have for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought about the game so far in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, my name is Sulit. Have a good day or evening, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!